This is News 3 Now at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. Some of the government programs meant to help people through the coronavirus pandemic are set to expire soon. Well, Madison's mayor today called on state and federal leaders to extend them. Amy Reed live downtown with the mayor's message. Amy. Much of this relief was authorized in March and April with sunset clauses built in for when we thought we had been through the worst of it. But with Wisconsin's highest daily total cases yesterday, Mayor, Matt, Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway said we still need the help. For most Madisonians, this has been one of the most challenging years of our lives. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway called on state and federal leaders to continue programs to help Wisconsinites deal with the issues caused by the coronavirus. This is unacceptable. People need help. The pandemic has created unprecedented public health and economic challenges, and we need every level of government to take action. Yesterday, she sent a letter to the State Public Service Commission asking them to extend the moratorium on utility shutoffs, which the agency said again today it's ending next week on the 25th. The federal moratorium on evictions for subsidized housing ends next week too. The state moratorium is already done, and the 31st is the end for the extra $600 for unemployment insurance. United Way said the need right now, even with these programs, is already great. 211 getting tripled to quadruple. The normal number of calls. Here in Dane County, we are fortunate that our area businesses and individuals are very generous with their treasure and support of the not-profit sector. But philanthropy alone cannot and will not address the significant needs of the community caused by a global pandemic. Rhodes Conway said the city is already doing what it can with things like testing and housing for those experiencing homelessness. With massive revenue shortfalls, she said cuts are likely unless the city can get federal dollars through the HEROES Act. This is of a scale that we're not just talking about cutting back services to our most needy. We're talking about needing to cut into basic services that local government provides. The HEROES Act is currently sitting in the U.S. Senate after passing the House. Some Republicans have criticized it, calling the $3 trillion spending bill a partisan wish list. Senator Ron Johnson said instead he wants the federal government to use some of the... Un but the letter, they still send a letter no matter what. Amy Reed live downtown. Amy, thank you. Wisconsin has surpassed 39,000 COVID-19 cases. According to combined data from DHS and county dashboards, there are more than 900 new confirmed cases in the state today. 6.6% of new cases in the past 24 hours came back positive. It's a slight decrease from yesterday's 5.9%. 21% of cases remain active. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi says he is asking the National Guard to extend COVID-19 testing at the Alliant Energy Center into the fall. Their work is set to expire on August 7th. The National Guard has not responded to the request as of this morning. Parisi says the work the National Guard is doing is crucial in identifying positive cases so those people can alert others who they may have had contact with. More than 63,000 people have been tested at the Alliant Energy Center. Kohl's has joined a growing list of businesses requiring shoppers to wear masks in store. That goes into effect on Monday. Kohl's says it made the decision because 70% of their stores were already covered by masks mask mandates and pick and saves parent company Kroger is announcing they're also requiring masks that will go into effect a week from today. Let's check your first warm forecast here is meteorologist Chris Reese. Chris. We've been tracking showers and thunderstorms since yesterday, Eric. We still have those in the area right now. Look at Doppler track right now shows you though we're already starting to clear out just back towards the west. Still some cloud cover hanging around, but the heaviest of the rain is now towards our north and east. Beaver Dam up towards Fond du Lac. That's where we're seeing some heavier showers right now. The lightning has come down, which is a sign that things are weakening. That'll continue to push north and east. We're also still seeing some showers in Rock County over towards Walworth County as well. Heavier shower just towards the south and west of Janesville. That will likely pass between Janesville and Beloit. But you look across the driftless region of Wisconsin, that is where you see we are now starting to clear on out. Stronger thunderstorms towards the south uh, in parts of Illinois. That's where they do have tornado watches in effect. 
for now. But here's the cloud cover and how things look for us. We are now at 68 degrees. Winds are out of the north at 8 miles per hour. 70 for Janesville. The Dells are at 64. We're going to watch our temperatures fall through the 60s as we go through the afternoon and evening. A return of sunshine comes tomorrow. Then it is big time heat in store for that weekend. Charlotte. Thank you, Chris. Attorneys for George Floyd's family have filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city of Minneapolis and the four police officers involved in his death. It was not just the knee of Officer Derek Chauvin on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds, but it was the knee of the entire Minneapolis Police Department on the neck of George Floyd that killed him. The lawsuit alleges the officers violated Floyd's rights when they restrained him and that the city allowed a culture of excessive force and racism within the police force. Attorney Ben Crump says they are seeking a set president to see, make a financially prohibited for police to wrongfully kill marginalized people, especially black people in the future. Developing tonight, Madison police are investigating a series of shots fired incidents from this afternoon. Just before 1230, witnesses reported hearing gunfire and then two cars speeding from the area of Watts and Gammon Road on the west side. Shortly after, there were reports of gunfire between two vehicles about two miles away at Whitney Way and Schrader Road. According to police, witnesses described similar vehicles at both scenes. Well, later, police responded to a call on Raymond Road, which officials say was related to the earlier shots fired incidents. Multiple detectives and specialty units are investigating. Madison police say a gunman pointed a pistol in the face of a cashier at West Town Mall this afternoon. Happened at Dick's Sporting Goods. The gunman got away with hundreds of dollars worth of shoes. Police say they were seen leaving the store and getting into a gray sedan, possibly a Ford Taurus. New at 6, the prison worker charged with helping two inmates escape from Columbia Correctional Institution back in April has pleaded not guilty. 46 year Holly Zimdahl faced three charges, felony charges in the case, two counts of party to escape and delivering illegal articles to an inmate. Zimdahl was a civilian working in the prison kitchen when she helped James Newman and Thomas Deering escape. Detectives found two cell phones, $1,400 in cash, and a handwritten note about where to buy electric fence cutters during a search of, their, of her vehicle. Zimdahl claimed she cooperated because she and her daughter were threatened. A trial date has not been set yet. A new audit says an unknown number of unemployed people in Wisconsin received too much or not enough in benefits from the Department of Workforce Development in late April. The errors came as the department worked to process additional money in federal aid for people suddenly out of work due to the pandemic. The Legislative Audit Bureau told the department to figure out how many people were impacted and the error amount and then report back by August 14th. A majority of job centers in the country are closed during the pandemic, but our local workforce development board has come up with a unique way to help unemployed people in South Central Wisconsin. They held a drive through job fair at Warner Park this afternoon to connect as many of the 47,000 people, unemployed people in the region as possible. Volunteers wore PPE and stayed physically distant. Attendees could learn about 38 local companies that are hiring right now without ever leaving their car. We're partnering with the Job Center of Wisconsin, which would generally look like a event indoors with booths and employers at each booth. Today, what we're doing is people literally roll up in their vehicle. You don't have to worry about getting dressed for success or anything like that. You just stop and pick up the bag full of postings and apply for those that interest you. Workforce development boards throughout the state held similar events today. If you are looking for work right now, go to the Workforce Development Board of South Central Wisconsin website to see who is hiring. Health experts say older populations are at a higher risk for the medical and psychological effects of COVID-19. People living in facilities haven't seen loved ones now in months in some cases, and they may not be getting to medical appointments because they're worried and they're not going out to see friends either. And one of the biggest things that we can give to our older patients and our older loved ones is time. You know, this is the great time to offer to run errands for them, pick up, take out groceries, you know, uh, cards, flowers, hobby supplies, puzzles, books. Now she says there is evidence that social isolation increases your risk of complications from every disease and increases your risk of developing new diseases. Public Health of Madison and Dane County has already received hundreds of complaints about businesses not complying with the new mask order since enacted on Monday. Our Gabriella Bacari joins us live to explain why local leaders are encouraging business owners to follow this order. Gabby? 
As Dane County residents get used to wearing their masks everywhere, some say they've seen businesses and patrons not following the order. Local leaders say enforcement begins with education, quote, asking people to do the right thing. If violations continue, citations will be issued with fines as high as $376 per ticket. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi says business owners simply don't have a choice when it comes to obeying the order. They, they don't get to choose, you know, just because someone doesn't want to stop at a stop sign doesn't mean they get to blow through it, right? There are certain laws and ordinances and rules on the books for the protection of the good. If a patron walks into a business refusing to wear a mask, Parisi says the business has the right to refuse service. Public Health of Madison and Dane County says if you see someone in public not wearing a mask, don't approach them on it because they might be exempt from the order if they have a disability. Instead, they say to just wear your mask and leave the enforcing to them. Gabrielle Abacare live on State Street. Gabby, thank you. Vice President Mike Pence is making another stop in Wisconsin. He plans to speak at Ripon College on Friday about President Trump's agenda and the, quote, rejection of socialist policies. Then the vice president is scheduled to tour a dairy farm near La Crosse, where he will participate in a roundtable discussion on the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. And a reminder, the 2020 partisan primary is about a month away now on Tuesday, August 11th, to see what's on your ballot, register to vote, or request an absentee ballot. Go to myvote.wi.gov. The deadline to register to vote by mail or online is a week from today, or you can register in person at your polling place on election day. Still ahead at six, a pancreatic cancer survivor paying it forward, rallying other people to participate in a virtual walk for cancer research. Her story just after the break. We're celebrating the re-grand opening sale now at Ashley Home Store. We've partnered with the best mattress brands to bring you grand opening savings up to 60% off. Plus, no interest financing for up to six years. Shop your way in store or online during the re-grand opening savings event only at Ashley Home Store. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. From value price softeners to the world's best and even salt-free, no one has more solutions than Culligan to customize the best filtration for your home. The only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. For over 25 years, Fry Construction has provided excellence in home repairs and improvements. No job is too small or too big, and your safety is always our concern. Respected in the industry and voted best of Madison, Fry Construction delivers lasting quality for your home. With free virtual consultations from the comfort and safety of your own home, or we will come see you following strict safety protocols. Visit FryConstruction.com and get inspired for your next home improvement. Contact us today. As the weather gets warmer, get outside and see all the beauty Wisconsin has to offer. And let Meineke get you there safely. Make an appointment and save $20 on any oil change package. Prices starting as low as $14.99. Meineke Car Care Center is here to help. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how with the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it with the Ford Promise. The grand reopening sales event is on now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 50% off appliances, including clearance items available immediately while they last. Plus 18 month special financing. Shop online or in store at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. Welcome back. A woman in Sun Prairie is trying to raise funds for pancreatic cancer research. She wants to remind us that cancer hasn't stopped because of COVID-19. Jamie Perez shares her survival story and how she's trying to bring people together even when we have to be physically apart. I feel like I'm a miracle walking. You know, I'm, a, I'm alive today because of my persistence and because the doctors took it seriously. And every day is a joy. I, it's an adventure. Every moment is a treasure. So I don't take anything for granted because once you look at death in the door, um, <clears throat> everything else just goes away. Ruth Heima is a walking anomaly, a pancreatic cancer survivor. I am of eight years. Almost. She survived what 90% of people with the same diagnosis don't. She was one of the lucky ones. Yes, it's been just a joy to be alive and to, you know, 
see my life just take on. Diagnosed in the early stages in October 2012, Haima went through surgery and five rounds of chemo to get rid of two tumors that were growing on her pancreas, a process that took more than a year to get her cancer free. And she's been that way ever since. Uh, people are still, you know, dealing with this on a, you know, probably a daily basis. There's an unusual feeling in their body. They go to the doctor. Um, they have various tests done. It's still an ongoing thing. Life does go on, whether there's a pandemic or not. So people, you know, need to be able to get tests and, and find ways to stop it. Her story of survival is now leading her on a new path to bring awareness and raise funds for cancer research so others can continue to carry on their own journey. To try to find uh, newer ways to diagnose it early on so people like me are not the, you know, unusual miracle but are the norm. What was supposed to be one big day of walking and raising money for the cause was just another victim of the COVID-19 pandemic. But Haima is encouraging people to take it on virtually. I, I was supposed to speak at the event in Middleton uh, coming up here but uh, because of that we have to do it virtually and just have to adapt and overcome uh, whatever we can. She's hoping other people will adapt and overcome this with her. Maybe not walking by her side but on your own time in your own neighborhood, but together in the cause. You know, I'm hoping people take light of it and uh, want to be involved and help increase the uh, opportunity for physicians and researchers to, you know, get the money that they need for this terrible disease. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. You have to live your life every moment. The virtual roll and stroll event starts now through August 9th, and the goal is to raise 30000 for the Carbone Cancer Research Center at UW Health. All you have to do is register online, and you can walk, bike, or run on your own time. We have a link to the registration page at channel3000.com. Coming up in Sports Lambeau Field will be a lot quieter for family night and also preseason games. Sports director Zach Hanley tells us more about the plan for no fans. And shower chances continue tonight. Chris tells us when the skies will finally clear. That's next in your first warm forecast. Crushing this to-do list. Let me see. Smart home upgrade. Mm -hmm. Home gym. Check. What about the window, siding, and doors? Uh. Cross something important off your list. Free installation on all windows, siding, and doors. And no interest for one year. The biggest sale of the year is here. Free installation ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for feltco Get instant cash rebates, where the more you buy, the more you save. Start with savings of 35% or more store-wide. Then get an extra $50, $100, or $150 in instant cash rebates. The more you buy, the more you save. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of quality furniture and mattresses at the guaranteed lowest prices. Get great savings on great new furniture during Steinhoffels' instant cash rebate event. Get the refrigerator you've always wanted now at the Brothers Main Big Big Deal Refrigerator Sale. Save big on the latest from GE. French doors, black stainless, and smart refrigerators, all with 0% financing up to 18 months. And you'll get our risk-free 30-day price satisfaction guarantee. We make it easy to be confident in your new refrigerator. It's the Big Big Deal Refrigerator Sale, with more selection, more savings, and more big, big confidence only at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938.
tracking the showers and thunderstorms all day long, but now things are getting ready to clear out for areas, especially towards the west of Madison. We still have some showers, though, towards the east. We've been watching the rainfall just towards the north of Madison. Earlier on, we had some heavier rain throughout parts of Portage and Partyville between Poinette, but now that's all lightening up, and that's getting ready to move out of that area as well. Still, though, throughout south central Wisconsin, we do still have some heavier showers. This one right now is between Beloit and Janesville. That's going to be crossing 51 and I-3990 as we go through the next couple of minutes here. Back behind that, things are still relatively light for us, so we're going to start to see at least some lighter rain before things begin to wind down for us as we go through the evening. It's going to be gradual, but we will see that rainfall coming to an end. That'll keep us a tad less humid as we go into the next couple of days. Then the sizzle comes back. We're talking a spicy weekend in terms of the temperature in the air. That's one thing that is for sure. Clouds outside right now. Temperatures are into the upper 60s for us in Madison with winds out of the north at 13 miles per hour. 70 for Mineral Point. Lone Rock also with 70. Good evening to you guys. 64 in the Dells and 74 our friends at Janesville right now. But here are those dew points. Earlier this afternoon and earlier today we had those dew points well into the 70s. I call it the air you can wear your clothes were sticking to you. Now we're starting to see these dew points come down and it is still humid. Do not get me wrong on that. You're feeling the humidity as you step outside, but we're starting to see that. Come on down now. Here's how that rain starts to end for us. So I'm stopping the clock at 5 o'clock in the morning. Overnight lows will be into the mid-60s at this point. 64 is where we're going to call it. Then tomorrow we start to see these temperatures slowly warm back up. So here we are at 1230 tomorrow. We're at 75. We're warming up towards 82 as we move towards tomorrow afternoon. And that again comes with sunshine. High pressure starting to take over the front. The area of low pressure responsible for all of our rain that's getting pushed away as this high pressure stays nearby. The sunshine sticks around, but by Saturday, the high pressures towards the east, winds are out of the south. That sets the stage for warmer weather around here. We're in this pattern right now between the cooler air towards the north, the hot, hazy, and humid air towards the south. Between those, your jet stream gets squeezed. It speeds up a little bit. That causes the air to rise. That creates the showers and thunderstorms. Well, as that pattern starts to fade for us, the hot, hazy, and humid air mass just builds. It flexes the muscle. That leads to the heat, and it is for that reason that we have alert days in the forecast going towards your weekend Saturday and Sunday. We're in the low 90s. Heat and disease with the humidity will feel like the low 100s at times. It'll end with showers and, th showers and thunderstorms next Sunday night and into Monday. And coming up in sports, Ben Gamble has been raking at summer camp. Why a little change in the batter's box has the Brewers outfielder on fire with his bat. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Trust the summer lawn and garden experts at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We have everything you need to create, maintain, and enjoy your ideal yard all at great low prices. Like small bags of estate grass seed on sale for just $10.99. Plus, don't miss summer pet care deals like $3 off select bags of Purina Pro Plan dog food. And large bags of Farm and Fleet performance dog or original cat food are on sale, only $19.99. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Joe Biden has never been president for some very good reasons. And where did you place in that class? One of them is still breathtaking years later. I, I think I probably have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class, and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees, and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. Really, Joe? Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Now Biden says Newsweek is right. His memory had failed him. Joe Biden, unsuited then, unsuited now. Restoration Pack is responsible for the content of his advertising. This summer, get back to where you belong. 
along 60 miles of beautiful wide open beaches where family vacations have never been so much fun. With every sunrise and each high tide, the beach is calling you to raise your spirits, make you smile, and bring your family closer together. So stop dreaming and start booking because we can't wait for you to get here. Visit Myrtle Beach and discover why happiness comes in waves. Accurate news as it happens, right here where you live. Information that you can use from the team you can trust. For more local stories that impact your life, News 3 Now. It's going to be another hot and extremely muggy weekend. We'll have all the details in your first warm forecast. And with new unemployment numbers coming out Thursday, we're taking a look at whether you have enough money saved up if you find yourself out of work. See you at 430. We have a breaking news update from Madison Police. A 30-year-old man has been arrested in connection to the armed robbery this afternoon at Dick's Sporting Goods in Westtown Mall. Janesville Police took him into custody. This summer will be a whole lot quieter for the Packers. The franchise announced that fans will not be allowed at the team's training camp practices, family night, or home preseason games. That means no Packers riding bikes to practice, no jam-packed sold-out Lambeau Field for a scrimmage, attendance details for the season ticket holders for regular season games are expected to come in the next couple of weeks. Watchlist season continues, and the Doug Walker Award is, a very, is very familiar for Wisconsin football. Nakia Watson is the latest Badger to be named to the awards watch list. Last season, as a freshman, he rushed for 331 yards and two scores. Four Badger running backs have won the award, including Jonathan Taylor, who did it twice. The Wisconsin uniforms will have a little different look to them for the upcoming season. The Badgers will now have a black W on their uniform crest to show solidarity with black and other unrepresented, underrepresented communities on campus. The move was started by current and former UW athletes and Wisconsin AD Barry Alvarez listened but knows this is just one step toward inclusion, saying, quote, there is plenty of work to do, but I am pleased we will be able to show our support in a way that is important to our student athletes. The star of summer camp at Miller Park so far hasn't been the usual suspects. Not Christian Yelich, Ryan Braun, or Josh Hader, but Ben Gamel. And the Brewers outfielder has been doing it with his bat. And that might come as a surprise considering he's been tweaking his setup at the plate, standing a little more like Yelich does when he's at bat. And so far, the move has worked for Gamble. It just verifies that I am making the right steps forward. Um, I kind of went to a swing change last year, you know, before the season. And um, I was doing a move that was foreign to me. And, yeah, it was hard to tell right from wrong. And um, I'm, at, I'm in a place now with my swing where, you know, I, I know right from wrong. Now, hopefully, you can just continue that going. Yeah, when, it, when in doubt, swing like Yelich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that always works. Let's go to Chris. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, we're going to watch those showers and thunderstorms gradually cool down for us, but it's alert days for the weekend as the heat is sizzling right back up. Well, thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Enjoy your evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.